What is this? I asked not to be disturbed. Ah, it is you. Commander Triton and that Chiss fellow spoke well of you. Make yourself at home. I was busy calculating our chances in case the Republic attacks. It looks grim. If they bring a force of any real size, we're doomed. Don't focus on possibilities. Focus on what we will do. The best force multiplier would be installing more automated guns, which we have. However, they eat power. What we really need is to tap into the nearby geothermal power substation, but it's been taken by the White Moor. We don't have the manpower to take on those pirates, and we've got a base that'll black out in any sustained fight with the Republic. I've never heard of Imperials backing down from a fight with pirates. They're Hawks, part of a group called the White Moor, two and a half meters of muscle each. The last time they captured our men, they made them dig their graves in the ice using only their hands. Then they buried them alive. I couldn't chance that happening again, so we haven't attacked their power substation. But you, your odds look good. I could do it, but in a Republic attack, they'll cut your power first. You mean like a dawn base? We've thought of that. Once it's ours, half of our turrets will be installed to cover the power substation. This is an energy coupling you'll need to install when you've eliminated all resistance. It should divert flow back to the outpost. With that power, our guns will be operational and give us a fighting chance. Go in strength. did it. We're running on geothermal power now. We blew a circuit when it came on, but that was easily fixed. Did the Hawks prove difficult? They proved clumsy and stupid. I could have fought twice that number. I thought as much. The White Moor have a good kill ratio versus regular troops, but non-standard tactics like yours eat them up. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to oversee the deployment of our sensors and weapons. We've already begun the installation of our defense systems, and we're on schedule to be done before nightfall. Sir, the Republic frequencies are alive with chatter. They somehow knew we had a power surge just now, so I swept for bugs and I found this. An energy monitor. Do we have a spy or a traitor? Based on the Republic's internal communications, they had this installed long before we took over this outpost. I only looked because the Republic chatter was so obviously shocked by the influx of power. They won't attack here. They'll bomb the main geothermal reactor to black out the entire sector. Do you agree that's the most likely target? If the grid goes cold, it'll get rid of all the pirates plugged into it too. It's a solid win for the Republic. They'll have to cut through the Ortolan workers there and the Whitemoor pirates, but they're sending Zero Squad snowtroopers. If I were a gambler like the captain here, I'd bet on them. If the installation is so key, I'll go myself. It's central to our functioning, and the White Moors. They aren't allies, but if they're stirred up, it's trouble for everyone. But concentrate on Zero Squad. They're the best cold-weather troopers the Republic has. Any defeat will humiliate them.
As you wish. Come <laughs> on. 
appreciate your professionalism. civilians need to evacuate the station. Step away from the console with your hands on your head. I said, step away from the console with your hands on your head. Did you seriously sign up for the army so you could threaten Ortolans? Intruders! I've got intruders in the shaft room! It's obvious I'm not here for your benefit. Why aren't you running? You provide the expertise, and the Empire will provide protection. There they are! Get them! It's over. The reactor is secure, and the Empire now has a deal with the Ortonans. I was hoping they'd stay on. The last time we took over a reactor, we had to translate all their labels into BASIC. I'll ask Command to send reinforcements there. Looks like we're going to be holding some ground after all. What's next, then? We require no further assistance, but I would like to ask a personal favor. The captain of Thesh outpost on the glacier is what you might call a friend. We went through the academy together. He's been wounded, and his outpost is battling a group of survivalist fanatics called the Hailstorm Brotherhood. You could make the difference. I'll go at once. Excellent. I'll send word. Please return to the medical bay. You may further injure yourself by walking. I heard you the first five times. Now be silent. I have an outpost to defend. So, you made it past the pass in the mountains. I'm surprised the Hailstorm Brotherhood let anyone through. Your old friend is alive and well. Hoth is turning our way. Revar. It is too long since I've heard from him. Apparently not doing so well he could send a fighting force. We've been cut off from the other outposts by the Hailstorm Brotherhood. A cult of madmen in the White Moor Pirates. You see this wound? 
dressed it with seasonings from the rations when we ran out of colto. In a few days, we'll be eating boot leather to survive. There's no glory in dying. Can you make it back to another outpost? No retreating. I've spent too long in this ice patch to be driven off by some half-dressed freaks. Besides, they track us and attack. The Hailstorm Brotherhood are lying in wait in a pass between hills near here. You may be able to find them and wipe them out. Could you do this? Could you face the Brotherhood? They'll never know what hit them. Good. Bleed them white, so that any who find the bodies know the might of the Empire. Then, when you have the bodies piled... Ugh, curse it, another stitch. Sir, I did say you need to be on bed rest. Very well. The Brotherhood like to use downed speeders as bait. They should be easy enough to find. Good hunting. your service, Agent. I found the Hailstorm Brotherhood you spoke of. The pass is clear. Is that so? Glad to hear their bodies are finally getting colder. Those maniacs have laughed at us for far too long. But here's something they don't know. We found out where they hide. The Hailstorm Brotherhood make camp in an open-air fortress cut out of the ice, not far from here. I guess caves were too easy. They obey what their beloved Master Sav tells them to. He's their legend, a man who can survive anywhere. Kill the head of their little personality cult, and the body will fall apart. He's got Master in his name. Is he on the Jedi Council? Or is it just a nickname? We assume he doesn't use the Force, or else he wouldn't be able to teach his skills to so many. He's tapped into something in the human body which makes him and his followers plenty dangerous. If you go into that ice fortress, don't give him any chances. I like killing cultists. It makes me feel like I'm tidying up the galaxy. Agreed. But I have one final request. Master Sav is responsible for this. For me. For my men. When you kill him, you let him know what a mistake he made leaving me alive.
getting good. No time to chat, Agent. Not that I'm complaining, but don't we have a job to do?
<laughs> it seems you have some skill, stranger. You are not the effete little warriors they usually send our way. I suppose you were also the one who slew so many in the White Ridge Hills. Your men are dead, buried in the snow. I am here. I had expected more hatred from a foe we have beaten and starved. But perhaps you are not from the outpost, are you? No, them I know. You are something different. You do as I do. You compete to out-compete. For you, I have a challenge. Do your worst. I speak of the crypt, where only the truly strong dare fight. Its fog will soak you through in seconds and steal all warmth from your body. It is then we discover who we truly are. Join me in battle, one against one, fighting for our lives. Nothing is more pure in this world or any other. I think I'll just kill you now. I think not. Master Sav is dead. I found him in the Ice Fortress and cut him down. Then the Brotherhood will be broken. Their cult of personality has lost its savior. I will contact Dawnbase to send supplies to us. It won't be long before we clear out the Brotherhood's remnants. But Master Sav was just one of many. Soon we'll go after the big game. Boss Undro, Ellis Tarn, and the other Whitemore Kingpins. Never heard of them. That's how they like it. Low profile. But intelligence has worked up a list of their names. Admiral Holtz is going to order an attack. Fixer 308 at Zerik Outpost would have the details. The outpost's in the ship graveyard, prime Whitemore turf. If anyone's come up with a way to hammer the pirates right off this rock, the Fixer would know. Give her a try. <laughs> 